Well, folks, I couldn't stand it no longer. Man, the weather's been hot here in South Mississippi. I mean, over 100 degrees several days this past month. It's finally dropped down under 100, <laughs> and I got to go put a hook in the water. I'm about to go stir crazy. I had some good luck. Uh, my transmission went out in my truck. <laughs> And so I can't pull my big boat around. Since I had this stroke, I can't manhandle my John boat and unload it and put it in the pond and the creeks and stuff without some help. <laughs> I don't care if it's a little old bitty son. I gotta have something pulling on my line. I'm about to go crazy. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> I've made an awful lot of friends on YouTube. Golly, I got friends from California to <laughs> slam over the East Coast. It's amazing. Uh, I can't wait for their videos to come out and I watch them, man, and we comment and talk back and forth and we just have such a good time. And I see a lot of people, they give a lot of information about what size line to use, what weight jig to use, uh, what color to use, uh, when, what phase of the moon to go fishing on, you know, when the tide's moving. I got a surprise for you today. I'm going to let you in on a little bit of my knowledge of what I've learned over the years which ain't a whole lot. <laughs> I go fishing because I love it, not because I'm good at it. But I'm going to share with you a couple of little pointers that I have learned through the years. Step number one, when you're going fishing way back in the woods where they don't nobody else ever go, be sure you keep a good eye out for snakes. Be sure and check around real good, no kidding. Well, actually, things are looking up pretty good. First cast, I got a hit. Second cast, I got a hit. Third cast. Oh, there's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, I got that tug on my line, though. Tip number two. The, the two best times to go fishing it's when it's raining and when it ain't raining. <laughs> Folks, there's a, <laughs> there's a little bit of foolishness in me. Well, actually, a whole lot of foolishness in me. <laughs> Two best times to fish is when it's raining and when it ain't. You could also say when it's daylight or when it's dark. <laughs> but seriously, uh, one thing, don't be afraid to get out of your box. Uh, just because you come up here the other day and throw them up on a white grub. When you come back and you throw that white grub a while and they, they're not biting on it, don't be afraid to get out of your box and go try a, a different color. Sometimes just a color change can be the ticket. Oh, look at Sometimes a little color change makes a difference. We got a different species. There's a little crappie right there. There you go, buddy. <laughs> it's your lucky day. <laughs> oh, goodness. Get off of that log. Uh. And sometimes a little bit of color change makes all the difference in the world. Okay, buddy. Here you go. Whee! Y'all know with these spinning reels, there's always a big argument about which side of the reel for the handle be on. Personally, I like, I'm right-handed, but I like it on the left side because your reeling hand's already on the right side. I mean, if it's on the left side, it's on the right side for me. You don't have to look very far to find people that's worse off than you. I had a good friend that had a stroke just uh, a month or so after I did on a, I think it was a Sunday or Monday, and he had a stroke. I went to his funeral on that Saturday. So uh, I'm not grumbling. God has really blessed me to be able to uh, get out and, and do some things, and I'm so thankful. Tip number whatever it is, it kind of goes along with the last one about getting out of your comfort zone. You have to vary your retrieve or vary your technique. Sometimes they like it just a slow, steady wind. Sometimes they like it faster. 
Sometimes they like you to work the tip a little bit up and down. You just have to experiment with it and try to let the fish tell you what they want. The only problem with that is I'm not a very good listener. <laughs> They try to tell me, and I don't hear what they say. I missed him again. <laughs> I told y'all I go because I love it. It ain't because I'm good at it. <laughs> it seems like that people that go fishing real often catch way more fish than them that just go once or twice a year. <laughs> so try to go as often as you can. Me. <laughs> Another little white birch. Here you go, buddy. There's gonna be one on this one right here. I got confidence. Speaking of confidence, all jokes aside, that is a thing I have learned over the years. Uh, if you're going off on a fishing trip and you ain't got no confidence, I can't explain it, but you're not gonna have a very good day as far as the catch goes. But if you got confidence, for some reason or another, it makes a world of difference. Uh, I, I can't explain it. Uh, I don't know if there's anything to back it up or not, but in my experience, I fished with people that they, they just had no confidence it was going to catch anything when we left, and they just about didn't. And other people have confidence, and, and they catch a, a box full. So th that really is an important thing, believe it or not, have confidence when you go fishing. As far as that goes, maybe that could apply to uh, other situations in life. You know, whether it be sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, or, or on your job, or whatever. And just have confidence in what you're doing. Whoa! <laughs> He hit it right here close. Let's get you off, buddy. Seriously, folks, there are some good pointers out there. It will help you become a better fisherman. <laughs> and like I said before, I'm probably not the best one to listen to because I go because I love it. Uh, that's the bottom line. I, I did some jokingly things in this video, but if you think about it, the two best times is when it's raining and when it ain't raining. Well, that covers most every day there is. So if you get an opportunity to go, because one of the other points was people that go fishing more often catch more fish than people that go just once or twice a year. Have, a, have confidence when you go out there that you're going to get a bite. Have a game plan. Start off with, with this color. Uh, I guess the one thing that I have learned more than anything is if something ain't working, don't sit there and fish it all day. Even if you don't know what to do, do something different. Whether it's a simple color change or a change of lures or a change from midwater to, to the bottom of the water column up toward the surface with top water maybe or whatever. Do things different. I love it all. I've done things from offshore to inshore to pond fishing to creek fishing. That's another thing. The best places to fish is a little bitty pond or a great big pond or a little bitty creek, or a great big river, <laughs> uh, bay, or a big ocean in the salt water. Uh, and the bottom line is people just go fishing. It's good for the soul. Uh, it has been for me anyway. And really and truthfully, if you can take a kid with you, kids or your grandkids or something, man, it's just a great time to be out together in, in this wonderful outdoors that God bless us with. So many things we take for granted. Uh, I'm thankful for each and every day now, way more than what I used to be. I've stood up here and about as long as I can take it. I'm just about to the point of falling. So I'm gonna wind this thing up before I hurt myself. <laughs> but just remember folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick, Outdoors. See y'all.